isn't there a lot of talk about people justifying communism on the grounds that it better uh, promotes equality mm. in capitalism? There's these huge disparities in wealth, um, wealth gaps, income inequality, um, whereas in communism, things are more egalitarian. Mm -hmm. And isn't that what we want? We want people to be equal. Yeah. And I think there's kind of an equivocation going on there. In a sense, we do want people to be equal, but what sense exactly is that? Equal before the law, meaning you have equal rights, you will, everyone, it will be, like, it doesn't matter whether you're famous and rich. If you commit a murder, mm -hmm. you're going to jail, yeah. and you'll maybe be executed. You don't get off the hook because you are you have this very prestigious position. So you're equal below, before the law in that sense, but we're not equal in America or in a capitalist system in terms of um, the results. So some people, uh, of your efforts or your label, labor, some people might work much harder than others. Some people could be lazy uh, uh, slou couch potatoes who, who don't put forth any effort. And the results are going to be very different for the person who's industrious, hardworking, yeah. and the person who's who's a lazy bum. Um, and we reward in a capitalist system the person who does work. So there we have any inequality, but it's a justifiable kind of inequality, in my view, and I think um, yeah. ma many people's view who support capitalism. They say, yeah, that's a good kind of. They, it, it would be it would be unjust for it to be the reverse sure. to yeah. have to equalize their incomes. Despite the fact that there, the, the amount of effort and work they put in was unequal, yeah. let alone to reverse the incomes um, and take from those have, who have done the most work and give it all, um, that would be you know horrendous injustice. Um, on you know I, I what I think is a reasonable view of justice. So there is we, I think it's important to distinguish these senses of equality. Some are good, in my view. Some are not good. This is the the equality versus equity question, right? Like equity being the outcomes and equality being the opportunity. Like, uh, you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, I have a, a sense of what you're getting on there. I think even in terms of opportunity, um, even that is reasonably not going to be equal. Not it's not just the outcomes are going to be not equal. Like. Take two people who work equally hard, mm -hmm. but one is just like innately more gifted, yeah. um, like, or has innately more physical potential for a certain action, like LeBron James, let's say, you know, yeah. he, he grows to be this huge, um, strong man, which makes him very, uh, it gives him a lot, a lot of advantage over someone who, you know, he's tiny and not that big for doing well at basketball. Yeah. And they both might equally work hard at basketball, but just because of their genetic inheritance, one is going to have a much greater advantage than the other. Yeah. So they don't have equal opportunities when it comes to succeeding in the NBA. Um, should we equalize that? How are we going to do that? Yeah. I mean, do we <laughs> do we break LeBron James's arms yeah. and legs to make him? Because um, you can't do anything to make the other guy have the... No matter what you do to the other guy, you're not going to make him have the same potential as LeBron James. So all you can do is bring LeBron James down. Um, this is an example that um, Euron Brooks sometimes uses. He's the... Uh, he was the uh, head of the Ayn Rand Institute. He's, he's still involved on the chairman of their board of directors. He gives a lot of talks um, about uh, Ayn Rand's moral and ethical theories. And he gives this example... He wrote a book on this issue of income inequality. Yeah. And to, to make the ideas very vivid and concrete, um, he gives this example of having to like break LeBron James's arms in order to equalize. Oh, he him. did actually use that example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something very very close to that. So yeah, I think there are, that's another sense in which there are going to be inequalities. Now maybe LeBron James lacks some uh, characteristics that the, the small puny guy has. Sure which yeah. give the, the puny guy a huge advantage in other areas. So what are we going to do now? Uh, equalize them again and destroy his? Yeah. So I think there, there are certain things to where um, we should just 
uh, it, or it makes sense to just um, embrace or accept these inequalities and focus on getting rid of the uh, other kinds of inequalities like inequality before the law that's really the kind that I think it's important right. to um, uh, make sure don't exist yeah but there are other kinds I mean you and I are unequal in innumerable ways different uh, heights totally. different totally. backgrounds but I don't think it's so no matter what you do people are not going to be the same even identical twins are going to have some no. kinds of differences um, if only you know after you know, the way they develop um, <clears throat> so I think instead of, we shouldn't obsess over these kinds of inequalities we should just accept and make the most of whatever we're given just innately through our genes um, and not you know, spend our whole lives bemoaning that make the most of what we are given and then I think that that will make things go best overall um, both for yourself you're not living your whole life resentful um, and also as a society I think if, if we if we treat people as equal before the law um, it's a much more benevolent place to live it's going to attract people from all over the world. Anyone from all over the world is going to know. And I think this is why millions of America, uh, of immigrants rushed to America. It wasn't because they were guaranteed some automatic income or a job. Quite the contrary. They, they knew nothing was guaranteed except freedom. This was the land of uh, liberty, uh, and which is why you know the Statue of Liberty is such a great symbol. That's why people were coming here. They knew they, had, they were going to be equal before the law and... Um, they could just make the most of their lives instead of having to live for, you know, the states and whatever yeah. European country they came from.